Hello, hope you guys are enjoying your studies. Today I'll explain common method by CMB in most easy and comprehensive way. Many students find it difficult to understand common method bias and deal with it. So let's start the class now. Common method bias is a consequent of common method variance which is variance that is attributable to the measurement method rather than to the constructs the measures represent. Bias introduced by common method variance is called common method bias. The chances of common method bias are greater if explanatory and dependent variables are rated by same study subjects at once. Common method bias produces inflated internal consistency because correlations among study variables would have caused by a common source. Never claim that single informant survey study data are free from CMB. It's a myth. Always remember that common method bias is impossible to address in single informant survey studies because informants are the source of bias and they cannot be tested statistically or otherwise. Literature exposits two procedural techniques to deal with common method bias. That is, ex ante and ex post. Ex ante techniques are preventive in nature and are applied in the early stage of survey design. In contrast, ex post procedures are applied after data collection and comprise of statistical techniques to detect and or attenuate the effect of common method bias on internal consistency of constructs. Statistical literature suggests that common method bias can be belittled by using ex ante techniques like encouraging the respondents to answer the survey willingly and provide truthful, realistic and non-influenced responses. In addition, collecting data for explanatory and dependent variables from multiple sources and different times is also helpful. Inferential ex post procedures include discriminant validity test, confirmatory factor analysis marker technique, and the latent method factor technique. Always remember not to use non inferential ex post procedures. Contemporary methodologists discourage to apply non inferential ex post procedures like Hermann's single factor post hoc test. For example, editors of journals like Journal of Operations Management and International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences encourage to use inferential ex post procedures. I will explain ex post inferential discriminant validity test suggested by Bagosi et al. 1991. Bagosi et al. 1991 suggested that common method bias would be a detrimental issue only if the correlations among study constructs are greater than 0 0.90. Common method bias will not adversely inflate internal consistency of study variables if correlation among study variables are less than 0 0.90. In this sample correlation matrix, the correlation between total and math is 0.994. In addition, correlations between total and perception, math and perception and salary and experience are also near to threshold level of 0 0.90. Therefore, we will conclude that the common method bias is adversely inflating the internal consistency of study variables in this case. In the next correlation matrix, all correlations between variables are less than 0 0.90. Therefore, we will conclude that common method bias is not adversely inflating the internal consistency of study variables. I hope you found this lecture useful and it answered your questions on CMB. Thank you very much for joining me today. Are you tired of rejection of your academic scholarship? Submit your research to International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. With us, you will experience a reputable publishing platform that will guarantee high-quality peer review. Our unique mentorship program enables you to develop your research to increase the chances of publication. 
Our editors are eminent researchers who will provide the much needed impetus for your academic works. Visit www.ijms.com and get your work published.